in the run-up to the Iraq invasion in 2003. Military planners faced a number of challenges over the question of how to control the mediatization of what became known as Operation Iraqi Freedom. From the outset, they knew that in contrast to Afghanistan, Iraq was a different, a conventional war. And they knew that the press could not be left outside. But if the media could not be left out, then they faced another challenge. In contrast to the 1991 Persian Gulf War, the global media landscape had transformed beyond recognition. Back in 1991, CNN and BBC were the only global satellite news channels. But in 2003, there was not just Al Jazeera, but dozens of global news channels. In the Middle East alone, the so-called Al Jazeera effect had seen the advent of six Arab satellite channels. This meant that the previous monopoly over TV satellite news channels was a thing of the past. Furthermore, the media technology itself had changed. Since 2002, there was Web 2.0 and digital new media. This meant that in contrast to 1991, when reporters had to rely on military technology and satellites to disseminate their news, they now brought with them their own satellite phones, laptops, and internet connections. In other words, news reporters had become technologically independent. And as a result, David Campbell observed, the previous system of media censorship and of deliberately delaying the dissemination of war reporting became unsustainable. In the most contemporary period, that sort of delay is unsustainable because the media are not the only people with image producing machines on the battlefield. You've got the soldiers themselves with digital technology. You've, you've got the, the so-called enemy with, with digital technology. So the number of sources from which you could get imagery and from which you could get coverage has multiplied. And then, of course, once that's multiplied, the ease in with which that digital, those digital files can be produced, packaged, circulated, distributed, everything happens that much quicker. So you couldn't have in that context a system where you had a number of gatekeepers along the way because they would simply be bypassed. Planning for Iraq in 2003, the Pentagon therefore realized that the old pool system was no longer tenable. They knew that they would no longer be able to directly censor or delay the dissemination of news coming from the press corps. They also knew that rival news outlets from the Arab world would be harder, if not impossible, to control than Western news channels. An Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan had shown them that the lack of Western journalists on the ground had allowed Al-Qaeda and the Taliban to make sweeping claims about civilian casualties that could not be verified by Western media. What was needed, therefore, was a new model of media control. Business as usual was no longer possible. The 2001 Afghan model was not tenable, and the old 1991 pool system had become antiquated given the changes in the global media landscape.